everyone. It's the earnings season and let's begin the show then with straight up with earnings from uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank. These are remember Q1 earnings. They were humongous expectations of high double digit growth. Net profit was expected to surge to 65% and NIIs to uh, 35%. However, net interest margins were expected to compress amidst rising cost of funds. But what do the final print numbers look like uh, for that and more? Let's go across now to my colleague Harsh, who's standing by. Harsh, uh, what's your sense of the final numbers that have come out matching Street's expectations? All right, then we seem to be having uh, some issue connecting with my colleague Harsh. But remember, the big uh, number numbers of big earnings of uh, the Kotak Mahindra Bank are now out. It is the earnings season, so Q1 numbers are out. And I'm told that Harsh is now joining us live on this very broadcast. Harsh, there were humongous and huge expectations of a high double-digit growth from Kotak Mahindra Bank. What do the final numbers look like? Take us through all of those details. So, uh, you know, let me quickly take you through the numbers itself. NII has come in at 6,200. 134 crore, uh, largely in line with what we were uh, expecting here. Uh, operating profit though is, has come in much stronger than expected. It's come in at 4,950 crore versus the 4,500 crore number that we were uh, penciling in. So operating profit is extremely strong, but provisions number has come in higher than expected. The provisions number has come in around the 365 crore mark. We were expecting that number to be around the 200 crore mark. So slightly on the higher side, that provisions number of a low base, of course. So when I'm looking at uh, the number in Q4 FY23, Kotak had delivered a substantial beat. 150 crore was the number in Q4. Let's also look at profit after tax that's come in at 3,450 odd crore, which is a solid uh, growth with regard to the year on year growth. It's 67% higher, sequentially largely flat. We were expecting that number around 3,200 crore, so definitely on the higher side, the profit after tax number. Asset quality has deteriorated slightly both on the GNPA and the NNPA. Nothing substantial in terms of deterioration, but have to wait and watch as to what has happened, where has the slippage really come from. So need to understand all of those. Of course, uh, we are joined with uh, Mahantesh Sabarad as well as Aditya Shah uh, to try and break down these numbers. Let me come to you, Aditya, first. How are you looking at, how are you reading into the Kotak numbers? Yes, uh Harsh, if you can let me know the loan growth and the deposit growth, that would be great. So, uh, all in all, the net numbers are uh, pretty strong, no problem as such. Quality has deteriorated a little bit, so we need to uh, we need to sit with the management on the convoy and they will tell us what to do. But as Uday Kodak says, that we are in the Cinderella moment for the credit cycle, and the cycle should continue to expect, uh, continue to be very strong for Kodak uh, as well. Uh, the only flip side is now for the quarter, the stock is a prisoner of what happens uh, on the succession planning of the uh, of the bank, and that's something that we need to get a color on. But overall, net net, very strong numbers, nothing to complain about, and future guidance from the management needs to be really easy. 